Hi there, it's Felicia from Compass Land, and I have a question for you. Do you know what a scrub jay is? Did you know that scrub jays can make your life unnecessarily difficult? So we buy and sell a lot of land in the state of Florida, and one of the things that you need to watch out for when buying land in Florida is that in certain parts of the state, you will come across scrub jays. So what is a scrub jay? Well, it's a very tiny bird, only about 10 inches long, weighs about 80 grams. Um, they're the less attractive cousin to the blue jay, as you can see in this picture. And they emit a very annoying little squawk. So let's see if we can get that. Not the most welcoming noise. So this particular species of bird um, with the blue and gray on its head is only found in Florida, which makes it a top species for bird watchers across the country to observe. As Florida has continued to develop, uh, especially in recent years, the scrub jays, which remember are only found in Florida, have lost their habitats. No habitat means population decline. So this species has been on the threatened state species list since 1975. And there has been a lot of effort by regional and state authorities to preserve this little bird. So what exactly does that have to do with buying and selling land? Well, if you buy a property that's in a scrub jay zone, you are now at the whim of these birds. You're going to have to get special permits from the US Fish and Wildlife Service and permission before you do anything to your lot. The permits for these lots with scrub jays will be much more expensive than for permits without scrub jays. County officials will have to visit your property and it might take over a year for you to get your permits approved. If you decide to clear the lot and you don't get the proper approvals, as an individual, you could be facing a $100,000 fine and as a corporation, a $200,000 fine. And that's advertised on the US Fish and Wildlife Service website. So if you scroll down to the bottom, you will see here clearing without a permit, $100,000 for individuals. Okay, so it's no small amount. It's something that you should take very seriously. So, how do you check if the property is in a scrub jay zone? Thankfully, there are free resources online that you can use. You can check with the county's GIS mapping system, for example. So I have the mapping system link open for Charlotte County, Florida. If we scroll down, we'll see an interactive permit boundary map. Okay, so we can see by the map that any um, boundary or parcel property that's within these dark red zones, you're going to need a special permit. You can also search by address and parcel number if you're considering buying a specific piece of property or if you want to check on a property that you already own. If you're going through this mapping tool and you've realized that you own a property in a scrub jay zone, it's okay. Uh, when I first started investing in land, I made the same mistake. Thankfully, it is possible to get the permits approved and the land cleared. You just need to go through the appropriate steps and have a little bit of extra patience. There are still really great properties located in these scrub jay zones, so don't write them off completely. Um, just make sure that you do your homework to make a well-informed decision before you purchase any property. So, if you have bought property in a scrub jay zone, comment below, let me know. I'm really curious to know how that worked out for you. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more land investing tips and advice. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, just leave a comment below. Have a great day.